Today we're going to be creating a print ready PDF of a book interior using Microsoft Word. Let's get started. Before exporting your document as a PDF, make sure you formatted your document correctly. For more information on formatting, be sure to check out Lulu's book creation guide on our publishing toolkit page or our YouTube channel. Although you should be sure your page size is set correctly before you do any advanced formatting, let's quickly go over how to adjust the page size before we export our PDF. Go to File and select Page Setup. Select the page size you'll use from the dropdown. If your page size is not included in the list of options or if you need to add a bleed margin to your document, you'll need to create a custom size. That option is at the bottom of the page size dropdown list. Click the plus sign to add a new custom size. Double click on the title and name your new size. It's important that you create and save your custom size with a unique name. If you do not, Word may revert your page size to the default of 8.5 by 11 when exporting your PDF. Enter the page dimensions in the width and height boxes, then click OK. Be sure your new custom size is selected from the drop down, then click OK. Now, let's export our Word document as a print ready PDF. We'll show you how to do this on both a Mac and a PC. If you're using a Mac, begin by clicking File, Save As. Name your file and choose a location to save it. Then choose PDF from the File Format menu. Be sure the option Best for Printing is selected. By selecting this option, Word should preserve your image resolution and provide font embedding for fonts Word recognizes. Click Export. Your PDF will now be exported. If you're using a PC, go to File, Export. Then select Create PDF slash XPS document. Name your file and choose a location to save it. Be sure that Standard Size is selected next to Optimize For. Click Publish and your PDF will export. You now have a print ready PDF for your book interior. If you're ready to create your book cover, head over to our YouTube channel to check out our cover file setup. As always, leave any questions in the comments below and we'll see you next time.